Hey guys, this is what I did. I stuffed it, and this is the result of me stuffing it with the spinach and the um Parmesan cheese. And it looked real nice, guys. And what I did to the fish, I basted it with olive oil, extra virgin organic olive oil. And I put um a season pack in it. Um, yep, I don't know how to pronounce that, but here, here it is right here. And you just mix it in the olive oil. You know, stir the olive oil and this up together. And you just baste it on the fish. And whatever you have left in the bowl, take your napkin and dab it in there and just wipe it on the fish. You know, kind of give it a little bit more moisture so it don't dry out when you put it in the oven. And I also cut up me some onions and garlic. Anybody who know me love, know that I love garlic and onion on all, just about all my dishes. So, um... This is my first time doing it. I didn't see it on um, YouTube or anywhere. So I said, hey, this was for my dinner. So I said, let me make it a try. Let me um, do a try of this. So I'm going to sprinkle me some onions on here. And you just do it like that while you sprinkle. You know, you just kind of break it up a little bit. You know, onion gives flavor, flavor, flavor to your food. It really does. And onion is good for you. Just don't get too close to people. I love onions, as you can see. And then you sprinkle your garlic on just like you did the onions. And you can chop up however you want to your desire of your vegetable. And you put whatever vegetable you want in. I just didn't want to overdo it. So I this is what I did. I just did the, the onions and the garlic. And when I come back with part three, considering this is my first time doing it, I do not know exactly how long to keep it in the oven. But usually when I bake fish... I keep it in between 20 to 25 minutes or to it has a light brown or, you know, you know, just kind of open up and look at a piercing to see what it looks like. Um, and for the first maybe 15 minutes, you can leave it uncovered so it can kind of get done a little toasty. So here I am getting ready to put it in the oven like so. And you want to make sure you put it in the middle of the rack, not too close to the um, to the air bulb. Uh -oh, be careful, don't drop it. Like I almost did. And you just close it up and let it bake. You can time it or come over here and set a timer. And excuse the kitchen, please. Excuse the kitchen. Uh-oh. It's called timer. Yeah, it's called timer. That's my silly husband. And just set it for 25 minutes, you know, just for the first go. Then if it don't appear to be done to you, to your liking, just leave it in for another 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, it should be done. And I will see you guys on the third take. 